Hey everyone, it's Jay again, and I'm playing more Ninja Saga. Sorry if you hear my fan in the background. I'm tired. It's been a long day, so I'm lying down. Uh, this is the same day that I made the other video, but uh, finally got to the point where every single one of the pieces are destroyed, and it looks like I can finally fight the Batarazoid. Is that? Am I reading that correctly? Uh, my eyes are tired. It looks like that Batarazoid. Okay, cool, and I can get everything from this. Awesome. Oh, wow, his legs are, like, way down here. That's cool. Alright. He's actually not as, uh, like, he's like three of me. I mean, that's pretty tall. I guess. It's more like two and a half of me. Not even two and a half, like, like two of me. Let's go ahead and use five elements consuming seal. Because I haven't seen any of them use reactive force yet. Oh, hey, 10,000. So that means he has about 40,000 health. Weird, because I'm pretty sure all the pieces individually have about 30,000 health. So he doesn't have a whole lot more health than one of the pieces. But that's okay, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and go all out on him, try and get him down as quick as I can. Aha! He's shielding it, but that doesn't stop the burn. And more restrictions. Is he going to purify? He's not going to purify. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and charge. Charge, charge, charge. And if you're not going to purify, I'm going to go ahead and use Dance of Fujin here. And pretty easy so far, I don't know. Ultimate Sword Attack. Oh, that was awesome. Very, very Power Ranger-like. Very, very Power Ranger-like. That was really awesome to see. I appreciate the fact that I got to see that skill. Rainbow Power. Awesome. Awesome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Alright, I am like out of chakra here completely. Energy laser. Oh, you made me blind. Oh no, don't blind me. I need to get some chakra back. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some health and chakra back. Although I'm pretty, uh, I'm full of health. So. <laughs> Yay, chakra. Alright. Basic attack. That was a pretty cool basic attack. This is a really cool uh, boss fight here. He's not very powerful, but really cool boss fight nonetheless. He's probably just as powerful as any of the other bosses that you can fight right now. Shield defense is a really cool skill. Uh, I wish uh, my ninja sample could get that skill. It's a really awesome one. Let's see here. Yeah, you're dead. You're e yeah. Wow, you're long dead. And oh, zero damage. Oh, it doesn't matter. Very cool. Very cool. That was very fun. Thank you for that. And there we go. There's the blue Cybot. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, level him up real quick, even though I already know what his skills are because I've already seen them. But I'm gonna go ahead and activate him anyway. Uh, I can't get experience from missions, right? So. I was told you get more um, things if you recruit friends, and so far I've seen that to be fairly true. So let's go ahead and do a quick couple fights here to level up the blue Cybot. So I can show you what his skills are, although I can tell you what his skills are if you want me to. Uh, his skills are... He has one skill that... Um, Oh, nice. I was actually about to do that. He has one skill that lowers a, a well, basic attack, first of all. His second skill lowers the target's, one of the target's random jutsus cooldown by one turn. Like, increases it, rather. It makes the cooldown one turn longer for one random skill. So that's kind of cool, kind of useful. I mean, if he had more attacks like that, that would be awesome. 
but his next attack and his and it's also his final attack lowers the your target CP by seven percent. So if you do not have a a PvP wise pet at all, and he's the only thing you can get because he is a free pet and he's really not that hard to get. I mean, I could have gotten him a lot sooner than this, but I was just being lazy. It only takes about not even 16 fights, so he's really not that hard to get. Um, was I stunned, or was I just out of chakra? No, I was actually stunned, right? It wouldn't let me charge or anything, right? Okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and, and level him up all the way, well, enough so he can get his two skills at least, so you guys can see exactly what I was talking about. So you guys know that I'm not lying, although I'm sure no one thinks I'm a liar. And it gives me the cho it gives me the chance to one make this video a little bit longer, and two uh, get some more parts here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is get the other pets, of course, and that's probably the next time I'll make a video. So expect that eventually, because um, I, I do plan on getting every single pet. I really want the jutsu that I showed in the previous video however and I want I really want to do a video on that however um, I really don't have the tokens to get it nor do I have the money to buy tokens right now uh, someone was telling me oh you know oh yeah you can't buy tokens because of uh, you know the ultimate game card doesn't work anymore and that's true the ultimate game card doesn't work anymore uh, as far as I've been told, although I'm pretty sure it does still work if you actually try and do it directly from the website, from the Ninja Saga website. But anyway, regardless, um, I've been using Facebook credits for a long time now for buying lots of things. So here we go. Here's his uh, first level 5 skill. Increases targets one random skill cooldown for one extra turn. So that was the first one, and I told you the second one was... Um, he reduces the target CP by 7%. I'm just getting him in order now. I was going one at a time over and over again, but I was going like clockwork starting from 3 o'clock, I guess. So, I love just taking out 25% of his health real quick. Bam! 25% of your health, gone. Always, and I've never missed it. Always hit it. I love it. I love it. Never react to forest. Just always works. It's really nice. Wow, his attack goes up pretty quickly, though. He went from doing 1 damage to 9 damage. That's pretty good for a level 7. Uh, if he can get to the point... I mean, if you level him up high enough and he gets to the point where he's doing, like, a couple hundred damage per hit, maybe he's actually a little bit more useful than me and some other people think. But, I don't know. Ah, oh, really? Really now? You gotta do that? Alright. Alright, now I see how it is. Dance of Fujin. See if I can get my skills back here. Mirror of Passion. I swear they need to make a move. I, I've been saying this for so long. They need to make Water Renewal an AoE. If they do not do that when they at, when they upgrade it again to where it can go up to level 80, I'll be very upset. I'll be very upset because it needs to happen, in my personal opinion. So. And they can lower it. They can lower the per healing to like 15%. Lower the CP cover recovery to 15%, because right now it's like, like 22%. I would totally take a 7% loss in CP recovery to make it an AoE. And, but then they could do that the first one, and then the second one they could make it, they could raise it to 20%. I don't know. I think it'd be really awesome, extremely useful, and it would make support useful in PvP, and make 2v2 and 3v3, 2v2 and 3v3 PvP more interesting, because I've been told that from a lot of people that they don't like 2v2 and 3v3, which is funny, because those are the only two that I really like. I hate 1v1 PvP. 
So, and I, well, I refuse to do it, pretty much, for the most part. Whenever it's like, oh, hey, you want a PvP? I'm like, what is it? Like, 1v1? I'm like, no. No, I do not. So. Um, even though I don't really have a lot of chakra, I'm going to go ahead and do Mutsuri. Probably wasn't the best of decisions. Hey, you followed in suit, though. I appreciate it. Appreciate the, uh, the confidence booster you're giving me making it so it seemed like I did the right move and done awesome another red energy core and a pet arena ticket uh, by the way the pet arena ticket well first, well first let me show you the pets last oh he's not level 10 yet that sucks okay well let's do one more fight here let's finish off this arm because it looks like it takes three oh I'm out of energy ah what am I gonna do Okay, I guess I'm gonna fight a regular boss. In fact, let me get the dragon here. This is still going on here, so I, I just claim my coin every day. Oops, nope. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to go here. And I wait until I get two, and I spin this one, because that's still going on. Let's go to the hunting house and claim that. And I'm trying to claim... Uh, trying to claim these things so that I have enough because you never know when you're going to need it. You never know because there was a there was an event that came up and it required you to spend them and I was really low in that event and I was like crap what do I do? And I actually didn't I wasn't able to do the things that I wanted to do in the event because of that. So recently I've kind of been hoarding them. I just been logging on every day and getting it but not um Aw, oh, really? Me? Oh, wait, that's right. They made restriction not so ridiculous. I keep forgetting that. They did that so long ago, and yet I still forget it every once in a while. It's because I really haven't played a whole lot. Like, I used to play Ninja Saga all the time. I used to play Ninja every day. Every day I would log on and play Ninja Saga. But, um, and I've been on a lot more recently because of the new event and certain, you know, certain things like that. And now the fifth anniversary... Uh, by new event, I meant new exam. But, uh... Yeah. But I haven't really played a whole lot since then. I mean, you guys can tell just by going back a year worth of my videos and, and looking at my Jutsu list and my characters and the weapon I'm using and the back out I'm using, it's all the same, pretty much. And if you go back, you know, further uh, to, like, 2000 nine, like, I, I'm, I'm a completely different character. I'm not I'm nothing like I was back then. So. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get this Ape King out of here. If this doesn't get Blue Saibot to level 10, I don't know what will. And again, really sorry if you guys hear my fan, because I, I have it hitting me right in, right in the face right now. It's really hot in my room. Cannot wait for winter. You guys have no idea. It cannot wait for winter. It's so hot here all the time. All right, still stunned. Full health though. This is that's really funny. Well, only my teammates haven't been stunned. I've been stunned. They've been stunned. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then I'm gonna start charging chakra here. Oh, actually, I can get. I can do this. All right. 11 damage. Alright. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool to see. I know that was Tog. No, I knew that was Tog healing him, but it looked. It made it look like his attack was healing him for 850 health and purifying him. Alright. Whirlpool shot. I think he dodged it. That's a bit long. I think they need to make that a little faster. Because that's going to take a long time. Because the fact that sometimes you have to flip to it and then flip back. And the fact that you might have to do that in PvP. Like, you have to really know what you want to do. Especially in PvP. Because, let's say you clicked on, a, on accident. You're ruining precious time that you have to make a, make a, a choice for your move. And sometimes you need those precious seconds. Like, I'm not trying to be sarcastic or anything. I'm ser absolutely serious. Okay. Who 
Who did he stun? He stunned top. Okay, well, I'm just going to attack with my weapon here because I almost have Fire Knight Phoenix back. I'm about to pass the turtle, but I'm not about to pass the eight king. Eight king is pretty quick. All right, it's firing at Phoenix. Done. Eight damage. I appreciate it. What is his name? Blue Cybot. There we go. You do golem protection because for some reason you need that. Even though these guys are easy, I probably you know never had to do anything. Like the only reason I used Tog was not for the health. But I mean, I mean, I haven't really needed health for a long time. It was mostly oh he would have died if he didn't heal. Dang. It's mostly for um. Uh, what was I gonna say? There we go. The pure vice so that if we got any of us got stunned, because that does happen from time to time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Hopefully it'll finish you off. Not right immediately, of course, but it'll finish you off over time. Alright, and then I'll keep you from purifying. Awesome. Oh, and then I'll actually just kill you. Never mind. Very cool, very cool. Lots of stuff that I don't need. Pet, level 12, and reduces target CP by 7%. Now before I go, there was one last thing I wanted to cover, that was with those little things that you can get. If you do click hint, because I didn't click hint in the video because I was like, I don't need a hint, I don't know what I'm doing. And you go to the second page, it specifically says, the pet arena tickets are to enter the pet arena. So uh, what I am guessing, uh, let's, oh here we go, is that one of these will be pet arena. So, someone else, someone who hacked the game actually told me that this third one is actually called Robot PvP, which sounds amazing, and if it is, I'm going to attempt Robot PvP, because that sounds freaking awesome. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.